Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Fi uh, I almost said Fire Red. The Pokemon Red Randomized Nuzlocke. Monster Matt here, and welcome. Now, last time around, you may, if you've been watching, you know that we encountered, uh, or didn't, didn't encounter actually anything on Route 4 as of yet. So we'll be our first catch there in a moment. I recall, though, there's a trade in this house. My husband likes trading Pokemon. You are a collector, would you please trade with him? I mean, even the trades have been randomized, so sure, let's have a look. Hello there! Do you want to trade your Arcanine for my Venusaur? I have neither of those things, so no. Worth a look, though. Anyhow, we're gonna go on out to Route 4 here. We have our Aquarius, who has Sing. We have Many Hours, who has Nightshade and Lick. Both useful Pokémon for capturing. And if all else fails, you know, we have a Master Ball. So let's, uh... See what we get. Drowsy. Psychic type, actually. Not the be all end all of the world, but not bad. Also, does not have um, insomnia as of yet, because it's not. We, we, there, there, there are no abilities in Gen 1. <laughs> Knocked it out. There's a nightshade to whittle its health down a little bit. Should have at least enough to take one of these. Maybe two. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about having it on the team exactly, because, I mean, we have... We don't especially need one, but then again, it's, 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 it's a psychic type. And in Gen 1, they were basically king. So... What to call you, though? Hmm... I remember that back in a uh, 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 distant, distant past, I had this this thing going on where like there was a hypno on a I think, I think it was my fire red run like a long time of some some past Nuzlocke in Gen three anyway. Uh, it was I think it was a fire red or leaf green. Um, we had a, a hypno who picked up like kind of a, an in-game lore thing about being some kind of demon that was tempting our 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 our, our trainer or whatever. I forget exactly how it went. But um, it was called the Eternal <laughs> because uh, we we, uh, we 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 ended up losing the Pokemon. But then but then we like on 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 those little islands they added to 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 uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green. We found that there's there, there's 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 another one uh, put in as part of the story. So we ended up catching it a second time. So it came back. It's like oh oh. Anyway, Drowsy, the hypnosis Pokemon puts enemies to sleep, then eats their dreams. Occasionally gets sick from eating bad dreams. Hmm. Why don't we? What? I mean, we should just call you creepy because you kind of are. Um, but barring any other ideas, I'll call you Baku for now because that is what that, it's based on the, uh, the, the the Baku in 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 in, in mythology. So there we go. A psychic type added to the team. I'm not quite sure. It's, it's a little eight, so he's not especially helpful helpful to us at this exact moment. But you know, we can, he can at least tag along. Unfortunately, we can't, like, you know, put, put, put an experience share on him as we don't have one of those. But we can maybe do some switch training or something like that. At least for right now, he can he can just tag along with us and maybe I'll do some training for him afterwards. We're not, we're not in a desperate spot for new team members right now, so I can... I'll, I'll, I'll worry about training him later. Plus, if we... If, 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 depending on what our, what our next two catches are... Tell you what, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna box him for now. Because we have two more catches to make on the route above, and depending on what those are, you know, like if we happen to find like a, like a, like an Alkazam or something, then Baku here is going to be you know hilariously pointless. So we'll see. Speaking of catching things, how many Pokeballs do I have left anyway? Four. I probably want to get some more of those. Let's swing down to the mart real quick. Got to sell some things anyway. Let's see what we got here. Do, do, we, do we have great balls yet? No. Not an option. Okay, well. I need to sell this revive, as it is just pointless to have anyway. Uh, the TM for... I mean, I, I don't especially want bind. I don't especially want sand attack either. Swift and Double Edge can stay for now, though. Those, you know, are not terrible moves. Um, let's pick up... I don't know, 
Uh, we have what, four now. So let's get, get back up to 15 Pokeballs total. And grab some potions. I don't want to break the bank, but that'll that'll do us over. For, uh, that'll, that'll hold us over for now. Now we see if I make. <laughs> now we make sure I sold the right the, the, the right TMs because he doesn't tell you what they are at the time. This is Swift, and this is Double Edge. Okay, we're good. We're good. Just checking. All right, so we need to head on up north. A bit adventuring to do, and some catching, perhaps. How's the team looking anyway? What we got? Uh, 17, 17, 17, and 18. That's eh, not bad, actually. Let's put Renan up front. All oh, right, yeah. Yo, Mac, you're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Matt. Uh, you might be surprised. Well, I mean, he knows what I've caught. It hasn't changed much since the last time we fought. But they're stronger, and we have a Gengar now. Snore. Oh my. Okay, no, he wasn't kidding. Uh, I, I, I was talking some smack there, but I take it back. Here. Ooh, yeah, okay. Yeah, Snorlax. There's a reason this thing is so scary. Oh, duh, ha, ha, there's a... Wow, so it crit me, uh, and, and, and I resisted it, and, 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 could you please stop doing... What, what, wait, what am I doing? I have a ghost. I don't need to resist you, I can just, I, I can ignore you. Granted, having to chip this thing's health to death with, confu with, um... Night will take all day as it has tons of health, but that'll help a little bit. Snorlax, ladies and gentlemen, this thing is, uh. Wow, it shrugged off that confusion in no time at all. Thank you. But thankfully, uh, he can't touch many hours, I don't believe. Yeah. Headbutt does not do anything to a ghost. He has no other moves besides amnesia. So we can just pick him off at our leisure. Which is good, because he was going to kill my Aerodactyl. That, that's, that's, that's astonishing, though. Like, he, like he, with, 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 with a critical headbutt to a Rock-type, he did more damage than the Rock-type could do back with Stab Wing Attack also critting. That's, that's some power right there. Don't mess with Snorlax. Alright, level 18 for both. What do we got next? Electabuzz. He did keep the Electabuzz. That's cool. Stronger now, I imagine. Just leave many hours in, then he's the best choice. 15 are not quite as... That's right, yeah, because the Snorlax is replacing his Pidgeotto. That's interesting, then. So he still has an Electabuzz, but it's a different one, I think. Because Electabuzz replaced his Pidgey the first time around, but you're supposed to fight his Pidgeotto first. So the Snorlax was replacing the Pidgeotto, and the Electabuzz is, is replacing something else. So he still has one, but it's a different one, technically speaking, I think. Huh. I wonder what the odds of that actually are, like, to get the same Pokémon, but, like, on a different slot. Not that it matters, it's just an interesting little, like, huh. Doesn't seem to know any, any electric moves, though, which is good for us. Dragonair. Ooh, that's definitely a new, a, 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 a new Mon. I'd like to swap in anybody else, really, for the experience, but at this point, many hours is just the best choice. He may not, ha he may not be capable of, of, of the most damage, but he definitely, definitely holds his own the best as far as just resisting things go, or ignoring things. Ah, better good luck there for us. His last Mon, of course, will be Hitmonchan. Who probably is still not high enough to actually learn any of its elemental moves. 19. There he is. Well, 17. Yeah, like, you know, he knows agility and he knows Comet Punch. He might know... 
something else? I forget, I forget what else he learned besides the metal punches. But it doesn't matter anyway. Because without fire, thunder, and ice punch, he can't hit us, so... Sorry, dude. Hey, take it easy! You won already! Hey, guess what? I went to Bills and got him to show me his rare Pokémon. I had a lot of pages of my Pokédex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokémaniac. He invented Pokémon storage as a one PC. If you're using this, you should go thank him. I better get rolling. Smell you later. Uh huh. S pulling a Snorlax, dude. Like wow. That said, uh, I mean there are two Snorlax on the map, uh, and they they are static encounters, which means each one of them is catchable and could be something interesting. You know, because um, usually in these things. Uh, a static encounter doesn't count towards the area that it's in. Then sometimes you can—I mean, I mean you, you're free to change it if you want to. Um, but like, like for example, uh, the Snorlax uh, outside of Ceru uh, Celadon City, I think, uh, is the only thing on that route anyway. Well, no, so, so I'm not sure if it counts as being in Celadon or on the cycling road. But uh, usually, if it's outside, if if, if if it's a static encounter, usually you, you, you know it counts as its, as its own its own thing anyway. But We'll decide that when we get there, I suppose. Alright, time for Nugget Bridge. This is Nugget Bridge! Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize! You got what it takes? Do I have a choice? You guys are in my way. I have places to go. People to see, Pokemon to catch. What you got, what you got, what you got? Slowbro! That is a face. Look at that f oh my god, it's, it's kind of horrifying. It's like, I'm watching you. Always watching. And, you know, the thing's just like chewing his tail like, I don't care about it. Just like, man, I don't care. This tail's tasty. Nom 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 nom. Okay, um, it's Water Psychic now. Which means it's special, and, and, and if I recall, he's quite bulky as well. Don't really have a great, a, a lot of great options here because it probably knows confusion. Like th this is like the the thing that destroys my team. It, it resists everything I've got, and it's good against everything else. You know what I mean? Like it's good against Rodan and Prometheus. It's resists um, Aquarius, and it's good against many hours as well. Like we just we're completely, completely countered by this thing, and it's bulky. Lobro is scaring me a little bit right now. Thankfully, it's lazy and wants to sleep in. And unlike in future games, when you wake up, you can't act right away, so I can just finish it off. Okay. Ponyta. Gotta love Ponyta. Jones has very stylish footwear. Resisting Ember, no problem. Turning a water gun. Alright, so I got a little bit of heartburn. They get a little bit of uh, super soaker problems. And we're all good to go. Eighteen. Nice. Ah, whew, good stuff. Next. I'm second, now it's serious. Like, oh my god. All right, Lazy wants to fight as a Magnemite. It definitely has Thundershock. It's definitely tougher than it would normally be. It's not a Steel type yet either. So curiously, Breathe is actually, like while he has a decent choice here, he's actually less of a good choice than he would be normally. Because there is no steel type at this point in the proceedings, so the Magnemite is only electric. It's, only, it's, it's, it's next generation, where when steel is introduced, that it finally becomes, you know, the Magnemite we all know today. So odd, really. I'm so accustomed to fire being super effective, it's weird to have it not be. Interrend female! Sure. Looks more like a more like more like a guinea pig than a rabbit, but 
It's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm not exactly sure that the Nidorans are meant to be rabbits. Well, I guess they are rabbits, really. They're fairly rabbit-like. Alright. How could I lose? Oh my goodness! Number three. Here's number three. I won't be easy. No sirree, Bob. Gentleman wants to fight. Oh! I see we have returned to the savage times. It's okay, because I have water gun. You are fast, though. But I am bulky, and I'm super effective, and you're not. This is, the, this is why I was so nervous fighting that at Lapras the last time, in, in, in back in episode, what, two or three? Fighting Lapras is scary when you have nothing to answer with. Eevee! Oh, Eevee! Eevee! Yeah, it looks kind of it looks, it looks weird at this point, actually. But his ears are totally different. It's like someone replaced Eevee's ears with, like, Yoda's. Mmm! Thought... <laughs> Future you thought I was, hmm? Nidoran mail. Who the Nidorans all of a sudden? Nidoran this, Nidoran that. More like Nidor... Nidor run this Pokemon list past somebody before I put it out in the game. Ah, uh, no. Well, 19. Ah, stop flat. Tigerses and all that stuff. Alright, Rodan's up next. I'm number four, are you getting tired? A little bit, but it's all good. We can tank on a little further. Lazy with the two Pokemon. A Venusaur. Thankfully, still something that we can handle. Actually, really, really good uh, a matchup for us because we just switched uh, Aquarius out. Could have gone a lot worse. Well, I would have just changed Pokemon, really. There we go. Kakuna. Kakuna. Rattata. Kakuna. Rattata. Kakuna. Rattata. It means no bee drills. Actually, I haven't seen. I've not seen a bee drill yet, actually. Funnily enough, I've, I've seen a Weedle and a Kakuna, but no Beedrill. And I've seen a Butterfree, but no Caterpie or Metapod. Odd. So oh, very strange indeed. 19 for Rodan. I lost two! Alright, read his turn at bat. Okay, I'm number five! I'll stop you! Oh, yes I will! I remember it normally he has one level 15 Mankey. Excuse me. Hmm. Ah, Pidgeotto returns. Sorry, 18. 18 Mankey. Pidgeotto's a little less terrifying than the Mankey would be. bad, though. Then again, he has sand. I forgot about the sand. Alright. I'm gonna do one more burn, and we're gonna switch out, because that quick attack is a little on the lethal side. Oh, he got burned. Well, in that case... Take less its damage now. Burned. Now we miss. At this point, it doesn't matter. It still will go down soon anyway. I never hit him anyway. There we go. Wow, 
Whoa, too much. All right, beat the, the Nugget Bridge members. Oh, not in hot water yet. Oh, congratulations. You beat our five contest trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. By the way, would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group dedicated to evil using Pokemon. You want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us! I'm telling you to join! Alright, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. I, 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 I've, I've said it before on stream and I'll say it again. I, I would love to have a game where you could actually join, like, you know, like, join the, 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 the evil team. Just because why not, you know? A, a, a Pokemon game with a little more freedom and actual things to do on that side would, would be neat. Okay. Many hours is still the obvious choice. Or a water type with, with a large damage an move. Nineteen for Prometheus, nice. Twenty for many hours, sweet. Our first Pokemon in the second uh, number ten, Arbok. Hmm. See, Arbok looked cool back in the day. I mean, it still looks pretty cool, I guess. But I don't know. I find this design more intimidating than its current one. It's very similar, though, really. It's more that it just it looks bigger. It's not really, I guess, but it looks bigger, more imposing. Ah, oh, you are good. With your ability, you could become a top leader in Team Rocket. Yeah, well, too bad, buddy. All right, out comes our singing master. Quick look up around here. Game 35. Isn't that Flamethrower? I feel like 35 is supposed to be Flamethrower. Poison Powder. Many hours can learn Poison Powder. Mm, that must be... I'm trying to recall... I... Can he normally learn that? Hang on. No, I didn't think so. But he can now. That's really weird. I I, I, I must have um... see. I don't I don't remember the exact settings of the randomizer, but I, I I I I thought I hadn't changed anything. But maybe I set TMs to prefer same type to make it a little easier. Oh, hello. To make it a little easier to match uh, 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 Pokemon with, with with the randomized TMs we found. I, I didn't remember that I did that. But maybe I did. In which case, there's a chance that if, if, if we find a TM that has the same type as a Pokemon, they can learn it even if they don't normally have the ability to. Either that, or TM35 is not flame, or is or is not flamethrower, but it is something that Gengar can learn normally, potentially. I don't know. That's all I can think of as, 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 as options. That's a battle toad. That is not. Okay, so TM35 is apparently normally metronome in Gen 1, and Gengar can learn that. So. It's either, it is either that, because it's, because it's poison powder now, that it's poison and, and that's why he can learn it, or it's because he can learn metronome normally. I don't know which it is, honestly. Like, I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I thought I saved the, the file for the, the settings, so, 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 I, so I could check it back later, because I knew I would forget, and I think I erased it by accident, so. Ah, here we are. Oh well. Either way, he can learn Poison Powder, which is actually an intriguing idea. It's not, you know, uh, uh, it's not, not, not an earth-shattering move. But the ability to inflict poison is still nice. Maybe sore. Cool. Oh, I forgot that it's standing up. 
I remember that um, Bulbasaur has little, those little feet, and Ivysaur has like a, like, a, like, a, like a more upright posture. I think I think I was expecting it to like keep like keep like like evolving into a biped or something when I was a kid, but then it just evolves a Venusaur and gets and it ends up being ba back on all fours again. It's like oh. I thought not. Okay. Now, this is normally where you can catch Abra, among other things. There's Abra, Oddish, a couple other odds and ends. Let's see what we get. Oh, that was fast. Raticate. Hardly an inspiring find, but at least it gets it off the encounter table. The teeth in that thing, though, seriously. Come on now. If he uses enough, if he uses Leer enough, his life should have to hurt eventually. Can we not do that, please? Thank you. Shouldn't need to use much. Well, I guess I'm wrong. All right, well let's switch over and use uh, a nightshade then. It should have enough help to survive that. I stress should. It's only level seven. All right. Come on, I don't want to use a ton of Pokeballs on Eradicate. Two, three. Well, it makes the Drowsy look pretty good, that's for sure. <laughs> Eradicate, the rat Pokemon. It uses its whiskers to maintain its balance. It apparently slows down if they are cut off. Nickname, yeah, we're just gonna call you... Little Fit. Monterey. After Monterey Jack, one of the Chippendale Rescue Rangers, you want to go re into a super duper flashback all the way back to childhood land. Alright, we have enough for another. A little banged up. I guess I better drop a quick potion onto Aquarius just in case. Alright, what we got? What we got? What we got? Something good, please. This is this is Route 25, by the way. It's very close to Route 24, but it is a different route. And we get no, I can I can re-encounter. I already have a Fero. We have already captured this Pokemon, so we can re-encounter a new one. All right, and the re-roll gets us Kabuto. Interesting, a water rock type. I mean, if I recall, it can learn Absorb, which is a grass move. It's not a, a powerful one, but Kabutops is always a really cool Pokemon. But we already have a water type and a rock type. We don't really need a water rock type, you know what I mean? We're, we're kind of covered. Plus, we have Poliwhirl booting, or sorry, uh, Sigmar booting around in our PC anyway, but. As far as backup Pokemon go, not a bad one. So, I said my, my one big complaint is, is, like, I don't think it has especially good special. And, for, like, for a water type, you would, you would want that. But, still. If ever we lose Aquarius, knock on wood, that'll never happen, but. Having having Kabuto around as a backup, not a terrible thing. Never wants to get in the dang ball anyway. And as always, it's just another thing off off the table, you know. Come on, one no. Apparently, it wants no part of this mess. 
I would use Lick, but I'm afraid to kill it. Come on. Wiggle. Nope. Woke up. Alright, well, you're awake now. Congratulations. It does not care. It, it wants to... Alright, well, fine. It hardened. Let's try licking it. One more lick. Unless it's, unless it's a crit, they should, they should not kill it. Ooh, that's a close one. Alright, way down a little tiny itty bitty health. Still don't care. Alright, let's switch on back over to Lapras and try to put back to sleep again. But yeah, no, as far as catching stuff goes, that makes uh, Drowsy the catch of the day. Not exactly an inspiring thing to say, but it happens. And see, that's, I mean, it's kind of unfortunate because, like, part of the fun of a Nuzlocke is using Pokemon you would normally never use, but we've been so lucky with this run so far that we're using Pokemon that, like, you know, anybody would use. Lapras? Aerodactyl? Sure! Why wouldn't you use them, you know? It's kind of a shame. Like, I, I would almost rather have, have gotten... I mean, this is, this is gonna sound dumb, but I would almost have rather have gotten weaker Pokemon so I would have to use Kabuto, you know what I mean? Like, oh, maybe I was hurting for, you know, hurting for a water type, so I, you know, it's my first one I ever found. So that's what we end up using, but if, if you already have a Lapras, you don't really need Kabutops. Can we get in the ball, please? It, it just doesn't care. Come on, dude. Two left. I'm not Master Balling this thing. It's not happening. What is the catch rate on, on, on a Kabuto, anyway? Apparently it's, it's just go away. He wants no part of us, apparently. I'm not Master Balling it, it's not worth it. So I guess that's that, then. Well, dang. Okay, I guess it's not coming off the list, then. Alright, well, that's a wasted catch, unfortunately. Well, dang, I'm kind of... kind of bummed, actually. <laughs> that stinks. Still, I mean, I guess the odds of us seeing one again are pretty low, but... I don't know. It, it, it definitely wasn't worth blowing a Master Ball on. But it's still a shame. That's two failed catches so far, counting um, Moltres back on back in uh, Ver Ver Viridian Forest. We've got Rattata and Raticate off the table at least, which is nice. I think what I will do... I will t deposit... Monterey into here. Oh, although he, he might, might make a suitable um, HM uh, user later on. Uh, I'll draw Baku. I don't, I don't want to use him at this moment, but I'll, I'll have him out at least for now. Um, I think what I will do, uh, if you guys don't mind, is I will fast forward through the trainers up there in Route 25. And we can just come to Bill. Because honestly, there's like, a, there's like, I don't know, eight, eight of them or so, and that's going to be quite the slog. Uh, there's a team up there, as well, a team up there as well, though, which I'm interested in. So I think, if you guys don't mind, I will do a quick little fast-forward montage. An awesome musical montage of us, you know, throwing down. If anything interesting happens, I will slow it down again, of course. So, you know, if the trainer pulls, pulls Mewtwo on us, then you guys can see how that goes normally.
Oh no, okay. This is a problem. Um. Suddenly Gyarados, suddenly Dragon Rage, suddenly bad times for Matthew. Um. The routine mission has just became a big problem. Uh, I have potions. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, who can survive like two of these? Anybody? Aquarius can. Sing? Sing. Sorry, I was just trucking along here. Doing, you, you know, fights and stuff, and all of a sudden, here we are. Last fight before Bill's house, and this rolls out. Oh, that's not good. Right, need to put this down immediately. Level 13 Gyarados, packing Dragon Rage. Okie dokes. Um, if it wakes up, it has to take a turn before it can do anything. Nightshade is still on the table, but maybe we'll just try to power through with wing attack. Because at least I don't need to waste a turn to heal Rodan first. Oh, it wakes up so fast. Like, sleep, sleep effects and I do not get along any more than... Okay, thank god. Critical hits. Okay! We have overcome Dragon Rage for the first time. Thank goodness for that. Sorry, I'm just like, oh, Gyarados, that's cool. Didn't even occur to me what was about to happen. Didn't even have an inkling. Just, oh, you know, oh, Gyarados, cool. That's fine. Dragon Rage. Oh, no. I'm thinking what I might do, you guys, in future episodes is find some way, maybe just, like, skip stuff, I don't know. Because having to fight through each and every Pokemon along the way, and, and, and every trainer along the way, it seems to take a lot of time. And if you guys are fine with that, then that, that's fine. But let me know down in the comments below if you guys would rather I, like, make some kind of montage out of, out of like, just regular trainers. Except for, like, the notable ones. You know, like, 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 pick, like, I don't know, like, the, 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 the two or three battles on a route that are the most interesting, and maybe keep, leave those in, and then kind of skip the rest, maybe? Ooh, Primeape. I don't know, there's, there's gotta be some kind of a system here that we can work with, because, uh, fighting every trainer along the way, like, this one's pretty cool, but, well, there's a lot, a lot of stuff that's like, oh, yeah, I've seen that, beat that, you know, etc., etc. So let me know down below, you guys, how you feel with that, and I'm, I'm I, I, I'll, and I'll try it out for the next one. For right now, let's finish up this primate and get over to Bill's house. Good old primate. Where is Ash's primate at anyway? Seriously though, I left that thing with that one fighting trainer guy like in season one. Never seen it since. I'm not so jealous. Jeez. So yeah, we like got all of the Misty's, Misty's place, and then suddenly it's Gyarados, so... Yeah, oh, not Misty, sorry, Bill's place. Sorry, in, in Gen 2, you can find Misty here, if memory serves. Is there anything over here? No? Okay. So let's go on in there and see what Bill's up to. I'm the original inventor of the... Hi there. Hi, yeah, I'm a Pokemon! Yeah, Pokemon. No, 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 I'm not! Call me Bill! I'm a, tr I'm a true blue Pokemaniac! Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, I messed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about, help me out here. Oh, sure. He's like the fly. When I'm in the teleporter, go to my PC and run the, the cell separation system. Okay. Met initiated, met initiated the, the machine's cell separation, a cell separator. I like how he comes out, but no Pokemon does. Like, is it just gone? Did he dematerialize it? What what what, what happened? Phew! Yeehaw! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. So, did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? Oh, that's a bummer. I've got to thank you somehow. Oh, here, this'll do. An SS ticket. That cruise ship, the SS Anne, is in Vermilion City. Its passengers are all trainers. They invite me there for the third party, but I can't stay in fancy dues. Why don't you go instead of me? Okay. Well, that's sure. Uh, I, 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 I wonder if he still has the EVs on his computer. Hang on. Let me just... Out in again. Look, bud, just check out some... Check out some of my rare Pokemon on, on my PC. I believe he'll let you see your, or, um... Yeah, his, 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 his favorite Pokemon list. Eevee. So these are still not randomized. It'd be funny if they were. Like, Flareon shows you, like, I don't know, a, 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 a Kakuna or something. Nice. 
Old school evolutions. Ah, the old days. Cool. So let's roll back down to Cerulean City. We'll end this up off this episode at the center. Get some healing in. You guys let me know again, please, if you prefer a kind of a, 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 a um, maybe like the, the highlight reel of each little root, uh, root full of trainers, or if you like it um, the way that it is. Um, or, 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 or if you'd rather see each one, I mean. And then next time around, we'll challenge the Cerulean City Gym. Baku's not quite ready to go on the fight uh, fight front yet, but oh yeah, she has two Pokemon. I need, I need to choose two Pokemon to fight her with. Ugh. It could be Harry. Because we have no idea what she's going to get. That's going to be rough. Alright. Well, I'll mull that over for next time, you guys. We'll see who we get and what we get. Uh, we'll, ta we'll take on the Cerulean Gym next time and maybe make our way down to Vermilion. We'll see how we do. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you had yourself a fantastic uh, time watching. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you once again for, for, for picking up the series. And for now, I'm Monster Night Out. Take care of yourselves, because you're worth it. And bye-bye!